So you were the mayor of Clover, South Carolina, and was that the time when Nikki Haley was governor of South Carolina? Uh, the, the, the first part of it. And, and what is it then, as someone who served when she served, that, that has you out here for Trump and not for Haley? Well, because I think what's uh, the, as screwed up as our country is right now, it's going to take somebody that gets things done outside the normal realm of the politics. Uh, Haley was a decent governor, but she, she followed all the, all the straight lines and did everything exactly by the book. I don't think we're going to be able to do that and straighten our, you know, our, our country out, especially with the border issues that we have. Yeah, talk about talk about what straightening the country out means to you, and and tell me where it needs some straightening. Well, straightening straightening the country out to me for the, the first thing and probably most important thing would be uh, t to get the border closed. And we got folks in this country that need job need some of the jobs that some of the Latinos and the Mexicans are taking, and it's, they're not just coming from there; they're coming from China and some of the other, other other countries that worry me even more. We see a lot of uh, a lot of Latinos and and folks. They cross the border here too. They, they they don't just stay around the border states. We see lots of them here, uh, and a lot of them are looking for jobs. There's a lot of them at work farms and things of that nature. Have been here a long time, even though some of them some of them are illegal. That they make good workers, but they have a a different attitude on the quality of life too. It's it's a, it amazed me when I was a mayor and was associated with a lot of them that had just happened to live in our town that. They think it's all all right to get drunk and walk around with a bottle of liquor on Saturday here tonight. And when they got locked up once or twice for that, they were surprised, you know, because that's just not acceptable here. But, you know, we take uh, we take our safety and keeping folks that's had too much to drink off the streets seriously. But like I say, they're, a lot of them, they're hard workers. Most of them are hard workers because that's all they've ever known. I got a lot of good, a lot of good friends that just happened to be uh, Latinos that came here legally. And that's what they need to do. It's not fair to the people who've waited years in line to get here to sneak across the border or hire somebody to get across the border. I mean, whoever the country be, if that was the only way to get here. If Donald Trump is, I mean, you're a man of the law and you, you were mayor of Clover. If he is indicted by a jury of 12 people on any of these 91 counts, would that challenge your support of him at all? No, the only, the only thing would challenge my support for him would be if he was disqualified because of a conviction, of course, then I'd have to look somewhere else. I don't think you'll find 12 people in this country that think that Donald Trump should be in jail. Is there a Democrat you could see supported? No, not right now. I have. I was a Democrat years ago uh, until the Democratic Party, when, when the Democratic Party truly was a working man's party. But it's not that anymore. It's, it's, it's a liberal party that uh, everybody goes to, to oppose anything that makes any sense, to be quite frank with you. It's just ridiculous. Is there, if I give you some names of what you, like if you had to vote for a Democrat, let's play a game, uh, Michelle Obama? Uh, not not in a million years. Uh, what about? It wouldn't, it wouldn't be her decisions. It would be Brock's decisions. What about Vice President Harris? No, absolutely not. Uh, Governor Newsom in California? Uh, he'd be the worst of all the ones you mentioned so far. He, I mean, look at California. You know, if you want to live in a, in a state that's broken, got uh, homeless people and, and transients sleeping all over the streets, then you vote for Newsom. But that's what, that's, he'd run the country the same way he runs the state of California, which is terrible. 